Hello, and welcome to 5-Minute Math. Today we are looking at the 8th grade concept of trend lines. This is standard 8.5D in the great state of Texas. We are using item number 12 off the 2023 released star test. If you haven't done so already, please go ahead and take a moment to pause the video, work this problem out on your own, unpause it, and we will look at our answers together. So we have a scatter plot here. We've got a number of customers and number of servings of iced tea here. And we've got a gap, right? And it's asking us for that 80, okay? So this is where we see definitely an upward trajectory, right? And we see that it's moving up, but it's not necessarily in a, a straight line. What we're gonna see is we're gonna see a trend Right, so we're really looking for that trend line. And so let's see if we can kind of, I'm gonna first draw the line, then I'll see if I can do a connect line, right? So if I wanted to, and you notice there's a little break right here, that means it jumps from zero to 24. So I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna connect it all the way down to zero because it does have that jump. I'm gonna start like right around here, that uh, 24, eight mark. And I'm just gonna try to draw like a straight line that's gonna kind of split everything okay if I wanted I could use this connect line feature uh, you see the lines don't 100% match up right but it kind of gives you the same type of idea okay it starts a little bit lower simply because you've got these it has to sit on those lines and I didn't have a, a intersection that started right where I wanted it to but either way right it looks like we've got a pretty straight graph here when you're wanting to draw a trend line, okay, that's what we're dealing with right here. Let's go back to the draw. Okay, so the trend line, which is that one that we just drew here, you're wanting to try to split the difference between groupings, okay? You're wanting to draw a straight line that is in the middle of as many groups as, as you want, as you can. So I, I drew it between this grouping of three I grew it between, uh, drew it right there between those two, and then you see how these last two kind of were sitting right on that space in between those two, so I drew it right through this spot right here, okay? And so that's, that's kind of how we're gonna draw a trend line. Now let's take a look at the, first, this is confusing, because they say 80, right? But there's a blank at 72, and there's a blank at 80. So I have a feeling that incorrect answers are going to possibly include where it would be at 72. So let's plot some at 80 and I'll just make those make those green here for us. So 53. So if I'm at 80, my 53 is going to be right around let's see that's 48. That is going to be 8. So that's going to be right around like a hair underneath there. That's about my 53 right there. So that's 53. My 62, okay, it's way high. There's my 62 right there. My 40, hmm, way down here. Okay, and then look at this, my 30. 30 is right down there. Okay, because what we're looking for is if we had 80 customers, right, where would that fall right there? And that trend line, well, we can see that this 53 is actually going to make the most sense, right? Because if we look at that 53 right there, if we wanted to plot that, that would have the x coordinate of 80, the y coordinate of 53, and that would fit right along that trend line because as it moves up to 88, right, it increases. This is an upward slope, so it has, you know, an upward trajectory. And so we are needing that 53. The only one that's kind of close is the 62. But that 62 would even put it above these two right here, which doesn't make sense. They didn't really have any outliers like that. So that's a little bit too high. And obviously the 40 and 30, way too low. So we are going to stick with A53. That is our answer.